Hey guys, today I have a little, this is my party trick. We're going to talk about Etsy SEO and how long it takes to be found on the first page of search. I can be found on the first page of search in five minutes if you're looking at the right search term and the competition is low enough. So whenever anybody says they're trying to get found on the first page of search, or I saw my listing on the first page of search, I'm like, for what term? Is it accurate? Is it actually going to be something that people will buy your listing for? And I mean, it's easy to be found on the first page of search for something that no one's ever going to search for because the competition's probably pretty low. But there are ways to get on the first page of search. You just have to use long tail keywords and look for things that are less competitive. So I'm going to take you into Etsy right now. I'm going to show you this. And it also kind of answers the question, how long does it take Etsy to find your search changes? When you change your SEO, how long does it take Etsy to find it? And the finding it takes about five minutes. Where Etsy is going to place it in search after that, they need more information from customers because they're looking at personalized search results now where they look to see who favorites it, who buys it, what kind of things, other things that they buy, what kind of price points do they look at. There's all kinds of things they look at. It's not just one thing and it's not just your SEO, but you can be found on the first page of search pretty darn easily. So let me take you into my account and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's go into Etsy and I will tell you the logic of long tail keywords. And a lot of times SEO research is logic. If you're looking for keywords, it's logic. And people tend to ignore that. You're just looking at the tool saying search and engagement and blah, blah, blah. And that's great, but logic works too. You have to use your brain at some point. So I specifically am putting the time on here so that you can see that I'm not editing this to make it look like this happened faster than it did. All right, so the way that Etsy search works and they are adding more elements to it for personalization and you know, adding, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But basically, unless you have the words in your titles, tags, categories, or attributes, you cannot be guaranteed that your listing will be shown in search. So there are ways that you can use that information to get a better search placement for your listing. Now, long tail keywords are longer and more specific, and it's what people use when they're ready to buy things. So let's say I want to find, I have a 10 year old daughter, I want to find birthday cake decorations for her, and she loves fairies. Okay, so I'm gonna search for birthday cake decorations for tween girl who loves fairies. Now you might be saying, nobody searches like that. Well, guess what? Yes, they do. Because this is a long tail keyword. It's very specific. It's something that people will search for when they're ready to buy something. They're looking for something to buy. They're not browsing. So I'm gonna search for that on Etsy. And it says, they're showing results for birthday cake decorations because there are no results, okay? There's no listings on Etsy that have all those words in it. Now, after this, I'm going to know who watches these videos and copies my listings because they're gonna start showing up on this page. But this is what I'm gonna do. This is one of my listings. You know, So my listings are showing up for this, but it's birthday cake decorations. And they might be showing this because it's my shop and they know that I look at my shop a lot and it's personalized search. So I'm not sure if that's actually gonna show up on the first page for people, but this is not a good listing for birthday cake decorations for tween girl who loves fairies because it's outer space. It has nothing to do with fairies, okay? This is for a 40 year old. I'm assuming you can personalize the age and stuff, but none of this is really about fairies at all. So if someone comes and searches for this, they're gonna say, ah, this isn't really what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do, let me, you know what, I'm gonna open another window and let me go to Etsy. Okay, um, let me look for my shop and I'm not gonna edit this because I want you guys to see this in real time. And this is the cake that I'm looking at. Okay, now this cake is a birthday cake decoration set and it has a fairy on it. This would be 100% appropriate for a tween girl who loves fairies for her birthday cake. So it's an accurate description and I am gonna put this in here now. So let's edit this listing. And let me see, the, the search was birthday cake decorations for tween girl who loves fairies. So all of those words need to be in my listing if I'm gonna be found for that. I'm just gonna put them in the, in the title, okay? So I have fairy in there already. Etsy may or may not add the plural. So you have, you have to check that. Let me look in the tags. I don't have fairies, plural. So I'm gonna put that in the title just to be on the safe side. 
<coughs> excuse me. Okay. Again, I'm not going to edit that out because I want the time to be accurate. All right. So let's see. Assorted colors, birthday cake. So I have, so birthday cake, decoration, mm, decoration. So we need to put decorations, but maybe decorations is in the tags already. Let me see. Decorating. It's not. Okay. So I'm going to put decorations in. I'm going to put decorations. Okay. Four is in there, but Etsy usually ignores four. Okay. But tween girl, tween, I think I have girl down here. Girls graduation. So girl is in there. Okay. I don't need to put girl in there. It's in there already. Okay. Tween girl who loves. Okay. And I'll put fairies just to be on the safe side. But I, I don't think that I really need to do that. So I'm just going to leave this one out because I think that Etsy will probably treat that as the same thing as the fairy. Okay, decorations. And I'm going to do the same thing here so that it fits in the title. Okay, and this also will say, does Etsy look at the end of your title if it's a long title? Yes, they do. Okay, so I'm going to put in the words that we're missing. Decoration, tween, who loves. Okay, and I might go back and rewrite this later, but I'll put those four words in somewhere in the title. I'm going to publish this. And right now it is 11.29 on March 14th. Okay, so at 11.29, I updated this listing. And we're going to see how long it takes for Etsy to find this listing because people have said 30 days, right? It takes Etsy 30 days to see your changes. That's a load. That is a load of something I can't even say because little children watch this channel sometimes. I'm not going to say a dirty word. It's just a load. Now, the 30 days might, I mean, 30 days is kind of an arbitrary number that people have just pulled out of the air for some reason. You know, things happen really fast. When, when I publish a blog article for my website on Google, it can be found on the second or third page of Google results like in, it, within a couple of days, it's not a 30 day thing. It takes a longer time for Etsy to kind of decide how people interact with this listing and who to show it to. But 30 days is a very arbitrary number that really doesn't have any basis in reality. And if you want to check reality, just come to Etsy and look around. All right. So let's go back here uh, to birthday cake decorations for tween girl. Now this has been published, it was 11.29, so this is one minute. So I am going to pause this and I'm gonna come back in about four minutes. I'm gonna give it five minutes and then we're gonna see if Etsy has found my listing. Cause just, well, you know what, actually I can talk about something else. This is showing results for this because what happens is if there's no results, Etsy will show what they think is the closest thing. And then they give other people, you know, they give other suggestions, but you know, it's not gonna be right. and this is something else that they might do, even if there's not that many results, is fill in with other listings that they think are similar. Now, actually, let me open another Etsy window and I will show you another thing. It's very easy to be found for words that don't make sense or are not relevant to your listing. If anyone ever watched The Young Ones, I have this in another YouTube video that I talked about this. If anyone ever watched The Young Ones, which is a TV show in the early 80s, I believe, but the word Fatumchuk doesn't mean anything, okay? So there's really no reason why any listing on Etsy would have Fatumchuk in it. Oh, but look, my listing does because I put it in there just to prove the point that you can be on the first page of search results, but it might not help you sell it. If someone searches for Fatumchuk, it's not even a word, but this listing has it in there. I believe in the tags. I just put it in the tags. I didn't put it in the title and match it in the tags. And please don't go and put this in your tags. It's a waste of your space. I use this as an example, all right? But, you know, it, nobody's going to search for this. That's a, that's a wasted term because it's not even a word. But it's easy to be found on Etsy on the first page of search results if Etsy doesn't have any other results for that because no one has put those words in their listings. Etsy is very literal, and they look at titles and tags, categories and attributes, and say, are the words that this person typed into the search bar in that listing? If they are, you'll be included in the search. If they're not, you won't. It's not hard. So let's go back here. I don't think it's going to have updated so so quickly. They're still showing this result, and it's been about two and a half, three minutes. I'm not sure exactly 
what time it was. All right, so I am going to pause this and I will come back in about three minutes, but just note that it's 11, okay, it's 11.33 right now. Let's update it one more time. Nope, it's 11.33. It's been about three and a half or four minutes and it has not changed yet, but I will be right back. And boom. Okay, so it is now 11.39. That was 10 minutes. When I did this earlier today, it only took about six minutes. So it took a little longer, but Etsy found my listing for the search birthday cake decorations for tween girl who loves fairies in about 10 minutes. And what happens is when you have all of the words in your title tags, categories, or attributes, it doesn't have to be in all the places, it's going to find your listing for this search and it's going to match it up and show it. And if there are no other listings on Etsy that have those words, you're going to be the only one. Or if there are very few competing listings, you're going to be one of very few listings and the chances of being on the first page are very good. So guess what? I'm on the first page for birthday cake decorations for tween girl who loves fairies. And it took 10 minutes. I will interrupt you right now. If you thought that was a good party trick, give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel, I appreciate it. And let's get back to the situation. And I want to look at the listing again because what happens with long tail keywords and very low competition, the lower the competition, the less the word order matches. And that's what you need to understand about long tail keywords. And I think a lot of people get really stuck on the idea that you have to be found for a long tail keyword that is in that exact word order. And that is not how search engines work. And the reason that I sound so worked up about this is that it drives me crazy. But when people say, I wanna be on the first page of search results on Etsy, I say, for what term? Because for some things, it's a lot easier than for others. If you wanna learn more about my methods of SEO, which are very effective, as you can see, um, you can join my eShop Success Program, which you can apply to join the descriptions in the video. I also have a webinar replay that I did. It was three and a half hours long. It's about using different search engines and Etsy search engine and blah, blah, blah to find good keywords on Etsy. It's one of the ways that I find keywords. It's not the only way I use Marmalade, but in this webinar, I didn't go to Marmalade at all and it just about killed me, but I didn't. So you can sign up for that. The link is in the description also. And join my public Facebook group. There's, there's a good resource right there. I will talk to you guys later and I will see you over in the Facebook group.